Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so, um, not totally sure where I am going to go with this topic, um, but an interesting thing appeared in my Facebook timeline this week which was uh, the post that I did last year coming out to my friends and uh, co-workers as being Demi Pan. Um, now I'd specifically edited who could see that um, at the time so that members of my family weren't able to see it because um, at the time I saw them out to my parents and, you know, there are right ways of going about doing things and wrong ways of going about doing things. And um, this time last year, as I think I've mentioned um, on some of my previous vlogs, was very much when I was preparing myself to come out to um, my parents as being Demi Pan. Um, in fact, I was very much planning to come out to them the week that I had off for my birthday and then we went into lockdown and everything just <laughs> nothing kind of happened the way that I thought it would um and there just became a lot of excuses to sort of keep putting it off um but in in doing that because here's here's kind of the thing um I was very aware this time last year that a uh, major reason why I was not struggling to look for a new relationship, but very apathetic about the idea of being in a in another relationship. Very, I mean, I I was very happy being single, um, and you know, I I wasn't sort of lying um, about you know where I was at this time last year in terms of being happy being single, being happy you know just getting on with things and uh, doing all the things that I wanted to be doing with my life. Um, but at the same time, I knew one of the major reasons why I wasn't looking for a new relationship was down to the fact that I wasn't out to my family. And, you know, I wanted to be able to not have to worry if I met somebody who wasn't what my family would, would be expecting. <laughs> Um, you know, it, it was one of those, very much one of those situations where I felt like I was caught between a rock and a hard place and I, you know, the idea of looking for something that I wasn't necessarily wanting, um, when I'm kind of, I was kind of apathetic about the idea of being in a relationship anyway, um, at, certainly at that point in time, um, it was just it was just very much one of those situations where I kind of knew if I wanted to consider looking for a relationship again um, then I needed to be honest with my family about who I was so that I wouldn't have to worry about you know meeting somebody who wasn't cis male <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was very much I think where I where my head was at this time last year, where it wasn't a case of I wanted to come out solely so that I could look for a new relationship, but I knew that I wasn't looking for a new relationship at least in part because I was worried that there were certain expectations on me. Um, I I didn't know if I could. You know, I, I, I didn't want to sort of, you know, look for something that wasn't that, which is what I very much wanted to do. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, I would have been unhappy if I found myself in a relationship with another cis uh, hetero male. But <laughs> uh, at the same time, I wanted the option to just look for a person I could get on with. Uh, regardless of anything else and not be concerned about having to broach oh hey this person that I've found isn't what you're expecting um hope that's okay 
it was very much a case of in order to free myself up to consider looking again I knew I needed to come out um which is one of the reasons why it was only like a couple of months later um and I mean I sort of I sort of felt it almost right away after I'd sort of finished coming out to to my parents and my brothers almost right away I was like huh you know what I I feel like I want to be in a relationship I'm not you know I'm not gonna rush myself happens it happens if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen you know I'm perfectly happy with my situation as it is I don't need a relationship to be happy but one would be nice um I I basically it very much as I said I wasn't lying with what I'd been saying before I was perfectly happy being single I was perfectly happy you know with how things were but as soon as I sort of opened up and you know it came out as Demi Pan to to my parents and my brothers, it became easier for me to kind of go, okay, I'm ready to start looking for a new relationship now. Um, I'm ready to actually embrace this, you know, this person that I am and this person that I am isn't somebody who necessarily is designed to be single for their entire life would be perfectly happy single for their entire life but doesn't necessarily need to be single for their entire life so um it was it was very much that kind of feeling that once i sort of finally um came out and and was kind of like i'm i'm not straight i you know if i do meet i'm like i'm not necessarily looking to meet anybody but if i do meet somebody they're not necessarily going to be you know in line with any of the relationships that you've known about uh, I have had a lot of relationships my family don't know about <laughs> um, for precisely that reason it's kind of like I, I want to sort of open a dialogue I want to you know be able to share things when I you know do meet somebody and if I am interested in somebody without having to explain you know why they're not in line with you know what you've been used to before um so yeah it 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 definitely felt very very freeing and very uh motivating at that point for me to kind of go okay let's let's take a look let's see if there is somebody out there for me and find out you know where where I can go from from that point onwards um as I said it did take me a couple of months to actually start looking because I wanted to be sure that's where my head was at and even when I sort of started looking I was like I'm not going in with any expectations um if I just you know meet some new friends who I get on really well with that's perfectly fine um I'm not going to put the pressure on myself because the whole point of coming out was to take the pressure of meeting somebody off of myself (laughs) so that I could just be myself and just you know go with the flow and go with whatever would happen um i am very happy that things have worked out in a fairly positive way so far even if i still haven't managed to meet them in person yet which you know it will happen it will stupid but you know we're still in a lockdown situation at the moment but there's nothing i can do about that so it's just a case of fingers crossed everything will work out we'll meet and everything will be like really great (laughs) i'm hopeful i'm i'm still very hopeful at the moment um so in a very positive place with that at the moment um but like compared to where i was this time last year where i was very much in the kind of almost keeping myself single because it was easier than having to uh having to deal with with the the stress of coming out and you know letting my family know I'm not exactly the person they thought I was um yeah it was it was definitely a very different mindset that I was in this time last year and um as I said it felt very freeing to come out and and that then you know after a couple of months of kind of going you know what I, I could probably start at least toying with the idea of maybe meeting someone but not no expectations no pressure on myself just going out there and sort of seeing if there's anybody out there for me um without worrying too much about it because i you know 
was very so much in that mindset of I can be happy single and you know I, I think that's a very healthy mindset to have and I do encourage anybody out there who is single and happy continue to be single and happy there is nothing wrong with that don't put expectations on yourself to find a relationship but expect like look for friends look for friendship because um you know friendship more often than not is more rewarding than being in, in you know in in a long-term relationship i'm not saying it's always the case i'm just saying that you know friendship is very important and friendship can be very rewarding um so if you're single and happy be single and happy um but if you meet somebody and you get on and there's that that nice friendship basis there as well that that you know be happy with that and and go with what, what you feel and how you feel there because there's no wrong way to be happy um there's no wrong way to live um you know, provided you are not bringing harm to other people. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting that in because, you know, there are certain things that, yeah, don't, don't do those things. Those things are, those things are bad. And I'm hoping I don't need to say what those things are because most of you should know what those things are that are bad and bring harm to other people and should not be done. Um, but yeah, if, you know, as long as, you know, you're you're in a situation where you are not bringing harm to other people <laughs> and you are living a happy and positive life and you know that is that is all you should be looking for that's all you should ask for if you've got more on top of that that's just a bonus you know it's uh there is no no wrong way to be happy as long as your happiness does not come at the expense of other people <laughs> Um, having said that, there are definitely still things that I have not fully opened up to my family about as of yet. I've begun opening more of a dialogue with my mum, um, which is good. Uh, it's definitely a start. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, uh, this is this is the 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 thing I've kind of mentioned a few times that I'm not quite fully ready to talk about on here um but it's it's getting to you know and, and and it does come down to the fact that I can't open up about it on here when I still haven't fully opened up about it to my family yet so it's coming it, it's very much coming um although you know maybe some of you who have been watching my videos for a while um or who know me might already know what this other thing that i want to eventually talk about is um and some of you who may have only seen a few of my videos and have noticed some of the changes that have been going on uh may have figured it out um i don't actually know <laughs> um I'm very much one of those people who I have no idea how I come across to anybody. Um, I've always just embraced being different, being an individual, being weird. Um, that was very difficult growing up when you're being bullied and stuff. But you know, as an adult, I, you know, I, I, you know, I don't worry about not fitting in um, anywhere near as much as I might have. So I didn't really worry about not fitting in very much anyway. <laughs> um, however, you are still shaped by those negative experiences. You're still um, made to feel certain ways by some of the things that you, you do go through and have been through, which can make it a lot harder to figure out yourself and where you are and, and stuff like that. So even though I've always been very proud of being different, it doesn't mean that I was completely honest about who I was and uh, even sort of so much to myself because, you know, life is about self-discovery. Um, you know, it took me a long time to fully work out what my sexuality was. Um, and, you know, that's only ever one piece of the puzzle when you're trying to figure out who you are as a person um, and having the freedom to actually figure that out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know if anyone out there watching has 
managed to figure out what this other thing is just based on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's it, uh, a video about that is probably coming. Um, I, I don't know when, as I said, I just started opening up, opening up a dialogue with my mum. I haven't even figured out a way of broaching it with my dad at this point. <laughs> so, and I know I can, I know it will be possible for me to, to open those dialogues, but it's so much a case of I'm still trying to figure myself out at the moment. So trying to, like, it's a balancing act. It's very much a balancing act. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll leave it with that. Um, so, yeah, I know this is probably a little bit of a weird one, but when are they not weird ones at the moment? Um, I hope you found this sort of interesting, and I hope to see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!